Hello everyone, at long last here is an update which I'm very pleased to be bringing you. Uh, today I can show you moulded product, all the components, I can show you slip cases, we can talk about colours and um, uh, today we, I, can, I can tell you that we are getting very close to completion now. Uh, on Tuesday of this week we trialled the two two-shot moulding tools. Um, both those trials went very well. Uh, both the products moulded. Um, they all the parts assemble beautifully, just how I had hoped they would. Uh, some of the fits are still a little bit loose, but that's how I wanted them because it's very easy to tighten things up um, by taking little bits of metal off the tool. But it's much much harder to go the other way if you need to um, take if you've got too much plastic if things are too tight that means actually adding metal onto the tools and that obviously either means new metal or it means welding um, both of which are, are things you don't want to do especially with a brand new tool so um, I'm very pleased uh, we are capitalizing now on the fact that the tools are here in the UK and within driving distance of uh, me um, so whenever a piece of work has been completed I can jump in the car we can go up and stand by the side of the machine test the parts mold them um, agree further actions etc so you know we're, we are picking up time now uh, which is really good so let's have a look at uh, where we've got to first of all I'll show you the products in the leather cases um, here is the leather case the brown leather case uh, with no stylus there is the black slip case um, both of them I think looking really nice uh, very nice to, to touch and to hold and it's nice this one's already getting a little bit beaten up because I, this is this one I carry around in my pocket all the time now um, because I can <laughs> um, uh, as for the moldings themselves here is a white plinth now I will tell you that this might just jump apart in my hands because uh, as I said that the clip fits are, are so loose that they're struggling to hold on at all um, but that will give you some idea <laughs> of uh, a finished plinth in white um, some of the parts are in natural material so they're not they're not all in the right color yet but uh, that, that gives you some idea um, the switch works uh, the stands work it all fits together beautifully this, the button works beautifully so that's all looking very good. Here is the dark coloured one, which is slightly less excitable. Um, so that's how the dark one's looking, which I think, I hope you'll agree, is looking quite, quite positive. And again, uh, press the button and it does flick open quite beautifully. Yeah. So that's very good. Um, let's have a look at the colours. The other thing we managed to do on Tuesday was to try all the colours, uh, all the various options that I've been trying to achieve to see which colours work together well. Um, first of all, with the dark one, uh, I didn't want to mould it in black because black is a very much a it's a it's a black plastic moulding, um, and I'm hoping that this thing will have a nicer quality feel about it. So I was after a, a colour that was had a little bit more pizzazz to it. So this is um, this is a colour called pewter and it's got a very slight metallic sheen to it which I don't know how well you can see that um, but it's very nice it, it looks I think it looks really nice with the grey the dark grey pads um, and just to compare it you can see this is one molded in a, in a color called uh, graphite which is just a plain plastic color a very deep gray um, and although this is a slightly yellower gray if you like or slightly browner gray it does look more like a, a gunmetal uh, type metallic finish which I think is nice uh, I hope you agree do let me know if you disagree um, here it is with the Geek Beat colour pads, which I think is going to look very, very nice. Here 
it is with the Kickstarter green. Here's one that we moulded in silver. Um, now metallics are very difficult to mould uh, because the, very often you get to see uh, flow lines in the material um, where the metallic pigment goes through um, and it shows up. So we're not it's not that bad. We, it might be worth doing some further tests on it, but uh, for the moment, that's that's not an option because we need to just get this thing finished and doing, you know, working in a, in a scheme that we know and we like. Um, we tried moulding the white colour one in a pearlescent white, um, which again has a sort of a slight pearlescent sheen to it, which did look very nice, but it it was a sort of yellowy. It, it actually just made the moulding look grubby so we've gone for just a plain white uh, which I hope you can see clearly there with a pale grey for the rubber pads um, that's it with slightly darker grey pads and again do let me know which you prefer you know your opinions are, are very much uh, very helpful I mean you guys have been very helpful all the way through um, uh, but we think the um, white goes very nicely with the pale grey. Pale grey for the rubber pads will work better than white because white, white rubber tends to pick up any form of dirty marks or, or what have you and also pure white rubber can yellow slightly over time which we don't want to do so it would be better to have a, a slight colour tint to that. Um, so there we go we've got moulded parts we've got colours that's resolved. Where do we go from here? Um, the tools have been stripped back down. Uh, I am furiously doing tests and measurements on all the various parts and identifying exactly how we're going to um, uh, tweak the faces to take little bits of metal off just to tighten up those fits and get the, the clips working exactly perfectly. Um, that is all going to be going on during the course of next week. Um, we will probably be retrialing the four cavity tool on Monday or maybe Tuesday of next week. We do have a slight issue with the base moulding and I think you can see there that there's a slight sink there on that front face. The face isn't moulding exactly flat, we just couldn't get it to mould exactly flat. That's because we've got a little bit too much material here on the back. Um, we didn't think it was going to be a problem, but plastic moulding is, despite all the technology, is there's, is there's still very much an art to it, and unexpected things do happen, which is why you always make mould tools erring on the side of caution, um, and then, then tweak it once you've got first shots, because things, as I say, things aren't always how that you're going to predict them. Um, so we're going to retry that tool in mon on Monday with another material to see whether that uh, solves the problem. If it doesn't, then uh, that is going to involve some metal on to the base tool, the four cavity tool, which is um, a pity because that can be, you know, a, a week or ten days work. Um, however, it's important. It's very important that surface is visible uh, and it's you know it, it needs to look absolutely right so that's what we're doing on on that one and so until we retrial it next Monday uh, I won't be able to tell you for sure uh, whether or not that's going to be a big problem or a little problem that we can um, uh, that we can overcome quickly either way uh, I am trying and Richard is working very very hard to try and get all of the tools completely finished all the surface finishes finished again you'll see uh, there's some variations in the surface texture here. This will all be brought, you know, completely into line so it looks absolutely uniform right the way across the product. Um, uh, and so he is going full speed on that and hopes to have that resolved. I'm pretty sure we should be able to do it within the next two weeks. Um, then there needs to be about a week to ten days of furious moulding uh, to mould all of your products uh, before we can pack them up and ship them out. Uh, the packaging is being made right now, the uh, leather cases are being made right now, um, everything else is lined up and completely ready to go. We've sorted the colours, we're a long, long way now down the road. So um, 
keep your fingers crossed keep watching for updates I'll let you know as soon as there's any more news um, and um, thank you very much as always for your support for your comments positive ones anyway uh, um, and uh, I'll be back in touch next week probably okay thanks then cheers now bye bye